Um, so for number 24, we want to take R2 and then rotate it about OC. Um, now, OC is this line here, right? And this line is the line X is equal to 0. X is equal to 0. Um, so when we take R2 and we rotate it about this line, uh, what we're going to have here is we're going to have a bunch of, of circles that go like this right so this shape is going to be sort of a a funnel um so when we when we sum this up we're going to be summing up these disks um across the y-axis right so we're going to be integrating with respect to y so um i'm going to set this up like so and now uh we do have to find where where it begins right um and actually, let's see, because the lower part is, so it goes all the way to zero, even if we don't see it. It's just hidden, um, because the lower part of this curve is the fourth root of x, which is defined all the way from x is equal to zero. Um, so we're summing that up from zero to one across the y-axis, because once more, we're stacking them up. Um, we're stacking them up like so. And then we just think about how to express this, right? We do have to express this in terms of y, since we're integrating with respect to y. Um, and we can see here that the that the radius is basically going to go from x is equal to 0 all the way out to where it touches this curve, the fourth root of x. So basically, that's the radius, right? The only thing that's missing is for us to express it in terms of y and not x. So if we have y is equal to x to the 1 fourth, I'm going to raise both sides to the power of 4. Therefore, I have y to the power of 4 is equal to x. Um, and so if my, my disk, the area of each disk is pi r squared, and my radius is just the height of the curve, right? So I'm just going to say that it's pi times um, y to the power of 4, because that's the, the curve expressed in terms of y, and then squared. Um, therefore, my area is just... Uh, when we squared it, it's just pi times y to the power of 8. Um, so now we're ready to integrate these. So I'm going to put the pi outside because it's a constant, and then that's just the integral of y to the power of 8 dy. Um, once more, we're just summing up these circles from 0, and here it's going to be very, very tiny, right? We can't see that. Um, but we do know that it goes all the way out to 0, and all the way up here to 1. So when we integrate this, um, this is just pi times y to the power of 9 over 9 from 0 to 1. And then when we plug in these boundaries, that's um, pi over 9, right? That's 1 over 9. And then minus 0, that goes away. So our volume is just um, pi over 9.